now I'd like to invite uh, Dr. Pillai. Dr. Pillai, please come. Thank you. One, one more thing about Dr. Pillai. He's a very tough negotiator. One day he was robbed in uh, Africa, Malawi. He <coughs> negotiated with them, took back his clothes and medicine from them. Wonderful, sir. <laughs> Sometimes it becomes an embarrassment. It's an achievement, sir. <laughs> yeah, Dr. Pillai. Well, I said uh, I belong to International School League, so my students' problems may not be the same as the CBC students or state board students. Um, I understand the main concern now is related to the examinations of grade 12 students. When it comes to Cambridge, it has got a March, February, March session. All the exams had been concluded before the lockdown, so they would be getting their results as scheduled. And the March session, sorry, May June session examinations have been cancelled, but they will be getting results and grades on the basis of evidence of learning and the professional judgment by the teachers. IB has also done the same thing. Well, I think that could be the best way to do, even in uh, by the Indian boards. I believe I don't know they how to decide that. But that may be my suggestion. If I am asked, that will be the suggestion that I will give. Um, do students do not have to worry at all. Actually, it's a global problem. It's not only of Indian students. All students all over the world have been affected. So the ecosystem is affected, essentially. Therefore, no student will be at disadvantage, I believe. In fact, um, there will be some advantages for the children because of the situation, as many of the panelists have already mentioned. Um, the more problems will be for the universities, I believe. There are university representatives here. They have to change the admission cycle. Right. Because of um, travel restrictions, more and more students will opt for home universities and home colleges. That may be one of the scenarios that we will see. But this will lead to a couple of problems. One is the students of the strata of society that predominantly used the local universities and home colleges may not get admission to the desired course or their preferred course or they may not get admission at all because of this shift to the local universities and home universities. Well, I mean, the universities that attract students globally and nationally in India will not meet their admission targets. That could be a scenario that we will see. But this is also going to give huge opportunity for students especially for meritorious students. The universities and colleges that do not want to compromise on their quality will try to attract the students by offering them more scholarship. There may be other benefits offered to them like travel facilities, I mean, better accommodation facilities and all to attract the students to the university. That will be a huge opportunity for the students. Well, we also will see more and more problems online oh, sorry programs online like for example um, those those programs are required for the sake of covering the i mean covering the revenue cut even uh, ivy league universities may be offering regular i mean uh, online programs run on i mean uh, their regular programs will be offered on online platforms this may happen and this will be a huge opportunity for the children. Otherwise, they will not be able to go for a physical class and expect that much money. So that will be another opportunity for them. And uh, well, the one, I mean, that's also admission cycle problem only. Our medical and engineering aspirants will have to wait until uh, admission decisions have been taken. But that will be recovered. That will be covered in due course as the courses progress. Certainly, the university will, will be able to cover that late beginning so it will not be a big problem in general i believe that this lockdown has actually is a huge opportunity or it shows us a sea of opportunities and if you all utilize those opportunities certainly i mean this will turn out to be a better scenario than we think at present thank you very much for now